Images transferred to the photopolymer film can of course be etched into the copper plate. Before exposing the photopolymer film, you need to thin it. Remove the top foil and save it for later. Now put the plate in a fresh soda developer under a lid for 20 to 30 minutes. The developer thins the film evenly all over, except for the edges. They will disappear. The pre-developing time depends on the quality of the water, that is, the amount of calcium in the water. This means that a test has to be made once and for all and the plate taken up and checked at intervals. At the printmaker's experimentarium, the optimum pre-development takes 27 minutes. When the plate is ready, remove it from the developer and rinse off the dissolved photopolymer film in cold running water. Dab it quickly in clean paper and put it in the drying cabinet. The dabbing must be swift to keep the paper from sticking to the unprotected film. The subject for this etching has been found in a book and photocopied onto paper. First the picture must be made transparent. This is accomplished by rubbing it thoroughly with salad oil. As we only need a fragment of the picture, we tear out that part, wipe off excess oil with a piece of cloth and dry the photocopy in the drying cabinet. Place the pre-developed photopolymer plate in the vacuum frame and replace the protection foil which was taken off earlier. This prevents the film from sticking to the picture or glass plate. Now expose the photocopy for two and a half minutes, which is the time it would have required had it been non-etching. The aquatint exposure plus that of the washing. In this case, 60 seconds for the aquatint and 90 seconds for the washing, or 150 seconds in total. Then cover the back of the exposed plate with packing tape before it's developed. Put the plate in the developer and develop it very gently with just the weight of the sponge, since the photopolymer film is now ultra thin. As soon as the copper is visible in the image, it's time to make sure that we really have reached the copper before we develop the plate any further. The fact that copper oxidizes in ferric enables us to control the depth. Rinse the soda off the plate and dip it in the ferric for a few seconds. Where the image oxidizes, the copper has been bared. The non-oxidized areas of the image must be developed further, for example by using a cotton bud. Check again and continue until all of the image oxidizes. In this process, it's better to be safe than sorry, and check a few extra times. Overdevelopment comes rapidly, and then the image will disappear. Etched photogravures are made in the same way.
the correctly developed film must now be deoxidized in vinegar and salt and then rinsed and dried. In order to avoid open bites or to preserve the grey tones of the image, spray the plate with a thin layer of aquatint. Finally, stop out the bared edges of the plate, harden it for 10 minutes, and it's ready for etching. Take it out of the etching bath after 20 minutes. A test print can be made with the photopolymer film still on and the depth thus checked before the film is stripped. You can reassume the etching process and also make more test prints a number of times. Finally, remove the stop out and photopolymer film in a soda solution. The image is now beautifully etched in the plate. It can be worked further with one or more of the acrylic resists. Before a new ground is added, it might be a good idea to make a test print.